For the New York Times, this is Nazila Fatih in Tehran. Iranians went to the polls Friday in large numbers. Many stood in long queues in Tehran for hours, prompting speculations that the large turnout could help moderate politician Mir Hossein Musavi win the election. He spoke very well, and based on what I learned, I concluded he could become a good president, especially compared to the ones in the past. He wants to give us the kind of freedom that we did not have. We are a generation that has not seen the social freedom that existed before the revolution. We do not have freedom of expression. And none of our presidents in recent years have done much for the youth. The choice for most voters is between incumbent president Mahmoud Ahmadinejad or Mr. Musavi whose campaign triggered massive street rallies in Tehran and other large cities. He has promised more political and social freedoms, a better economy, and relations with the outside world. Mr. Ahmadinejad has promised to fight corruption if he gets re-elected. Many of his supporters said today they were voting for him because he had helped the poor. But it appeared that more people were voting for Mr. Musavi complaining that inflation had increased dramatically in the past four years and that they were frustrated with the lack of social and political freedoms. I think cultural and economic issues are very important. The major problem is with the economy. The inflation rate went up very high in the past four years. There are 60 million eligible voters around the country and the results are expected to be announced Saturday morning. The president needs to win more than 50% of the votes. Runoff elections would be held a week later, on Friday.